Well, how's it look? Looking pretty good, Gumbo. Last couple of nights have been really helpful. You think we might be able to put Ricky back on the payroll? She'd been nosing around asking if I was hiring. Well, sugar, it'll be a little bit of a squeeze, but I think we can manage it. And we got to have the sound system if Ricky coming back again. Honey, you get yourself a 30-day payment plan, you'll do just fine. Oh, that's great. Now, how about you? You gonna be okay? Oh, yeah, I'm fine. Business still a little slow? Yeah, baby. You know, Gummo, I'm kind of thinking about maybe branching out a little. Branching out? What you mean? Well, I can't be a whore forever. Oh, Savannah, you ain't never been a whore. Yes, Sugar, that's what I am. I know what you do for money. And I know that people in town look down on you because of it. And I also know that you've done more good than half the saints wandering around this place. You ain't never been a whore, you hear me? Thank you, Gumbo. That's really sweet. Thank you for this. Well, you're welcome. Oh, by the way, if I do go legit, I might have to start charging you for doing the books. Can I afford that? I don't know. Let me check. Gumbo, my. I found the act that's going to pack the joint every night. Come on, come on. Come, come on, my. Come on, now. All right, all right. Now, what about a karaoke night, yeah? Ta -da. Ta -da. Huh? <laughs> Excuse us a minute, ladies. <laughs> sure you don't want to go? No, I can't. I got work to do. Might be the last stuff happening for a while. I felt it closing up last night. You sure you're okay? You look strange. I'm fine, man. All right, well, just be careful. Take care of yourself. It's not a problem. Hey, hey, last chance. No, maybe tomorrow. Hey, good luck. Hey, James. What are you working on, news hound? Nothing. Typewriters make an awful lot of noise to be working on nothing. You know, Kafka put everything he wrote into a drawer and didn't care if it got published or not. Is that one of your insights? Maybe. But it's a dumb one. If you're gonna go someplace, you take all of us along on the adventure with you. You don't just leave people you care about hanging, hanging for 40 years. Well, I, I don't think it was his fault, necessarily. He left, that's enough. And now he's back, so give him a chance. Let me tell you something, Irish. I came down here because this was the last place my father drifted to. I always expected that he would drift back. And every day that he didn't, I got angrier and angrier. Roosevelt, get off your butt, boy. You coming with me. Am I? You still my son, and you still owe me respect. I don't owe you nothing, boy. You want me to take off my belt and whip you like I did the last time? I you wouldn't try that. Get up. What do you think you're doing? If I'm gonna walk out your life for the last time, then you're gonna know who's walking out. Let's go. Let me go, boy. And what you think you're doing? Let's go. One of my officers found it down at the docks. Well, I truly believed I'd never be seeing this again. Savannah, you, you really got to keep an eye on a thing like that. What, you read it? No. Yes, I had to find out who it belonged to. Do you really know all those people? Oh, yeah. If that got in the wrong hands... Yes, baby, I know. I'd keep it locked up if I were you. Thank you, Cody, I will. I guess that's all. Bye. Cody. Yeah? On second thought, maybe you better hang on to it for a while. Girl could get in a lot of trouble with a book like that. Might need a little help. I'll keep it safe. Thank you, baby. Savannah. Yes? Good luck. 
Thank you. Rosie, I wish you could see this plane. I want you to feel it, Rosie. Feel what it is for me to fly. They ain't never been up in no plane. I want you to feel it, Rosie. The freedom in your face, prejudice and suffering swirling at your tail. You had no right leaving us behind. Listen, boy. I'd give my life to take it all back if I could, but I can't. Now, I'm just asking you to accept me for who I am. OK, where do we go from here? I got an offer to fly this thing, giving tours of the island. Rosa, the man didn't even blink at the color of my skin. This is a whole new world for me. So you plan on staying around for a while? I don't know. Thought I'd go back to Alabama first off and put some flowers on your mother's grave. Hmm. Mama would like that. I want you to come with me. No, no. I'm afraid of flying. You don't have to be with me. That's so. Should I come back? I expect that's pretty much up to you. I miss you. Well, I... I've missed you too, Dad. I can rub a nerve wrong. But I also know it's about time I start mellowing out a bit. What, your dad get to you? Let's just say my father and I, we've landed on the same page. Savannah. Yes, baby. It's news how I've been writing in that little pad of his. Looks like it, baby. Read what it says. It says. Sex and politics at the end of the world. Sex and politics at the end of the world. What do you think about that, Savannah? Works for me. All right, the news hound. You got six inches on the inside. Really? But don't think it's permanent. No, no, sir. You do the best you can. Yes, sir. Seamus. I want to thank you, son, for being there. Hunter Farmer, please acknowledge. 
Long ago, someone once said that it's easy to believe in what we fear and what we desire. And if we believe enough, even our deepest hopes can come true. Things happen at the end of the world that aren't always easy to explain. Flowers bloom at night. Rain falls on a sunny day. People find their dreams. What more could one ask of paradise? In just seven more days, Robert De Niro will change the face of television forever. Fox invites you to the series premiere of Tribeca. Time Magazine calls it original and exciting, and Us Magazine gives it five stars. Tribeca, next Tuesday at 9, 8 Central on Fox. Viacom.